Hello guys, it is the Cake Freak back with another Black Attribution gun build video. Today I'm going to be doing an AK-470 build and uh, this build is actually quite strange, at least for me. Uh, now, uh, I don't think most of you know, but you're going to know at this point that I like AKs with a lot of damage. 50 plus damage is uh, quite good for me, but this one has 41 damage and I still like it. Uh, the 41 damage is at the beginning already a bad side. Uh, everything else about this is decent or good. Uh, actually, another bad side is the really high spread move, but uh, usually AKs don't really have a good uh, spread move anyway. Uh, so, we're gonna talk about the specs uh, right here. Uh, as you can see, the damage is on the low side, the spread move is on the high side, which is bad. The hip uh, and the aim are quite low and good. Uh, reload is pretty decent. Of course, uh, it really depends if you're gonna empty out your whole magazine or empty out like a half or one third or you know. Uh, you're gonna see. You should probably know that there are different reloads. Uh, there's a long and a short one, which I'm gonna be explaining maybe later. Uh, recoil is controllable. It is actually lower than this AR that I'm using at the moment. Don't make this build. This is just a dumb build that I'm using, uh, testing out, you know. Uh, this one is 377 and this one is 345, which is good. And the run is decent. Uh, so let's get uh, into the name. It's called the Extended Operator's Remnant. Uh, Briar access Suppressor is the muzzle. The barrel is the Silverwood SW09. Scope preference, uh, magazine preference, but I would prefer the Extended Magazine. Uh, and the stock is the red stand uh, S14 stabilized uh, and the canvas preference. Of course, uh, every single one of these will be in the description below, uh, so you can use it for yourself. Secondary is a shotgun with mag ammunition, uh, and that is mostly it. Uh, I'm using my new build I'm testing out, uh, 192 HP and 6% uh, armor. Uh, I'll see you guys in the game. Okay guys, and we are back uh, for the gameplay part of this review, and uh, we are currently in a deathmatch server uh, on Halo deck. I, as you saw there, I got two kills, but the magazine isn't long enough for three. I mean, it is, but if you really get lucky by headshots. Uh, so, what is the gun build good for? Uh, it is good for close range and medium range. Uh, long range is an option, but I wouldn't prefer you really use it. As you can see, that was medium to long range, and it didn't really do or outperform anything I could have made. Uh, now, uh, of course you can use it if you have the right scope, but don't really try it. Uh, just stay medium close range, get into enemies' faces, and uh, fight them like that. Don't try some crazy long-range fighting like you're using a automatic sniper rifle uh, so don't try those kind of uh, things uh, so that's a, like one tip for the gun stay at close range try to have an advantage on your enemy uh, and the height advantage is the best advantage I love to use that phrase because it is um, it usually means life or death and CSGO uh, here it's more like life or well, nothing actually, you're gonna kill him probably. Uh, so, if my friend actually stood there, I would have been dead now. Uh, I gotta use my swarm a little bit, uh, really can't go without it. One match needs to be with a swarm. Uh, but yeah, you know, try to use it to the full advantage. These guys are using ball pups, which are, I guess you can say they're OP, OP weapons, so... Uh, I am still able to kill them and uh, wreck them because I have an advantage over them. Uh, and as you can see, it is quite good at close range. I would have got the kill if uh, my friend wasn't there. Uh, uh, unlike the heavy assault rifle, which has a slower fire rate, uh, this one, uh, the AK-470, is quite good at close range because it has the same fire rate as uh, the normal AR. As you can see, I'm really trying to aim for the head, but he stuck himself right in there. Uh, and, um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's kind of working at long range as well, uh, but not uh, as effective. So, I'm just gonna... No, that, uh, 
I don't have a proximity mine, that's what I... I'm usually, uh, you know, uh, equipped for these kind of situations, but at the moment I'm not. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, this is the AK for 70 build. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't know what that glitch was. I hope you guys saw that. Uh, th that was the AK for 70 build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like, rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, build. One thing to note. As you can see, when I'm moving... The damage uh, and the bullets don't fly straight. They just move around like it's freaking, uh, uh, freaking. I have no idea actually. Something that really makes things move around a lot. Um, but you know me, I don't want to end on my death. So I'm gonna kill someone and then I'm gonna end. Um, so let's find someone to kill. Really fast. I don't really care with what thing it is. I just want them to die. Um, you can use this AK build if you want, uh, you know, don't always remember, these builds are good for me, that doesn't mean they're gonna work for you. Um, so they can, you maybe suck with them and I play good, maybe some of you will do extraordinary in them, you know, it really all depends on factors which I'm not gonna name and that's just stupid. Um, so let's find an enemy to kill for now, come on. Um, let's find uh, someone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, and damn it! Wanna get a kill? Okay, I got a kill. I died, but who cares? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.